today we're creating these snowy birch trees. Now this project has a few surprises. Can you see this beautiful speckled texture in the background? And how beautiful crisp my birch trees are? We're gonna need some salt and masking tape so I can show you those techniques today. You wanna grab your watercolor paper, your watercolor paints, and some white acrylic paint for some snow and we are gonna create our own winter scene. Let's get started. So let's create a border for our artwork. And I'm using a plastic mat underneath, which I can stick my artwork to, or you could actually use newspaper as well, and you could stick it to that. And I'm just tearing bits of my tape around the edge, so when I remove it, it will create a really lovely border. So next I'm going to create my trees with strips of my masking tape. And so it's going to stretch from one side of my page to the other, and I can rip it off. And they don't actually have to be straight. It's kind of nice if they're on a bit of an angle. So I'm going to create at least four or five trees. Now our trees need some branches. So with a little bit of torn paper, um, tape, let's tear some little bits for some branches. So these can be quite small, and I might put some branches in some of these spaces. If all my little branches are really nice and stuck down, I can grab my paintbrush and let's start painting our night sky. So our night sky can be any kind of colors of blue. You can even put a little bit of purple in there as well. And our watercolor paper can take quite a lot of water, but we don't want it sopping wet with big puddles of water on our page. So I'm dipping my paintbrush into the water, swirling it around in my little paint palette here, and then I'm going to drag it across my page. And I can see that it's not going um, into my birch trees, it's actually kind of painting on top of all of that tape that I put down. Now once I've got one colour, I can grab a little bit of water on my paintbrush and maybe I want a different blue or I might even want like a touch of purple and I can even drop that in to that little wet painted stroke of blue that I just created and you can see that it's just creating a little bit of a blotted sort of purple texture there and the purple is moving around as well. So let's try this with some blues and purples and we are going to paint all across this artwork. We don't want to let it dry completely because we have to add a special touch for a really special texture. And I can't wait to show you what we're going to do with our salt. So let's paint across our artwork and then we will add our salt. Okay, are you ready for your salts? I've got some here and I can see that my artwork is not dry. So it's glistening with a little layer of water. It has to not be dry for this to work. And what I'm doing is I'm sprinkling my salt on top of the watercolor paint. And you can sprinkle all over. And what you'll see happen is the salt is gonna absorb some of the paint. And so when it dries, it's going to leave this really lovely speckled texture all across your artwork. So you can experiment with how much salt that you want to place down. I think that is going to work really well. And now I must let this dry. Now when it's dry, I'm going to dust off the salt and see what the texture reveals.
Now guys, it's possible when you remove the tape that some might rip a tiny bit. And there's not a lot that you can kind of do to control that. But it's okay because we are going to do some little details on our trees and we can paint over the top of those spots. So what I'm going to do is to get a blue and I want a lightish kind of color blue. And we're going to paint some details on our birch tree. So I'm going to start on my right hand side and start by putting a line down the edge of my birch tree. So the line that I've got there possibly even a little bit dark. So if that's the case, you can just add a bit more water to your brush to make it lighter. And once we have this line, we will do a few uh, dark kind of strokes just across in random places on each of our birch trees. So that will look the same on the little branches as well. You can create some little line strokes and I'm going to be using a smaller round tipped brush here. It's going to be very difficult if you have a really thick brush to create these small details. So go ahead and create these line strokes across each of your birch trees.